Hey guys, uh, welcome back uh, to another video. Uh, I thought I'd do a three-part series uh, to show you guys how I kind of warm up for my round. Uh, this could be a tournament round, this could just be a regular round. And this first video I'm going to just show you guys some stretches. And the stretches are important so you can get loosened up. Uh, which is important if you, if you get to the golf course and you go to the first tee and you haven't been able to prepare uh, swinging a club or stretching. For me, it takes a few holes to get ready. Uh, this last week I played, and the first four holes I bogeyed, bogey, 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 four over after <laughs> the first four holes, and I ended up shooting a 39. Uh, those first four holes kind of screwed me up. Uh, but it took those first four holes to get warmed up because I had no time to prepare. So it's important that you guys if you want to if you want to play a better round uh, it's important to get to the course a little earlier so you can do a couple things to prepare and I'm gonna show you guys a few stretches right now that'll help you guys warm yourself up uh, get stretched get loosened up and then the second part we'll move to the driving range and I'll show you kind of my warm-up routine and what I do to prepare for that first tee and then the third part uh, the third video will actually go out to the course and I'll I'll put the preparations into play and show you guys what I kind of look at when I'm on the first tee or um, I think I'll actually I already taped the uh, second video uh, previously but I didn't get to do the first part or the third part because I got rained out on and luckily today it might rain but luckily right now it's okay and uh, I'll probably head out and start on the seventh tee today just because I can jump out there pretty easily but I'll show you guys uh, kind of what I do after I've prepared out on the driving range, stretching, getting warmed up, and then get to the tee and kind of talk, talk you guys through what I do. Anyways, let's get to some stretches. Uh, you'll just need a club. Uh, I'll just pull my five iron. And this stretch right here is just kind of going to start stretching your, your upper body here. And what you're going to do is you're going to hold the club straight out, making sure you're keeping your arm straight. And then you're going to let the weight of the head of the club as you turn it just let the weight pull down and start stretching this part of your arm and try not to bend your arm at all and this will stretch from your shoulder down to your wrist and it just kind of gets your arm loosened up and then after that just rotate to the other side and let the weight of the club just kind of stretch your arm there and then once you feel like you got you know a good stretch from that then you can switch and do your other arm you know and just let the weight of the club and not bending uh, your arm let that weight of the club especially when you're when you're going this way just let that weight of the club stretch your arm make you feel like you get a good stretch there and get loosened up all right this next stretch you're gonna kind of start stretching your your body where you are, are rotating your waist and this one you're just gonna do one hand palm up on the shaft and the other hand uh, palm down on the grip here and then spread your feet apart and then you're going to turn like this, rotate your arms so they're crisscrossed. And then where your palm is facing down, so it would be this hand here, this is the way you're going to rotate. So you're going to rotate to your right here. And what you're doing is you're also getting your upper body stretch and also at the waist stretch. And I can kind of feel it back here too. And this kind of helps out in that motion when you're going back with your hips and through the ball. So, <clears throat> you know, palm up, palm down and then rotate it over so now the palm that was up is now down and then the palm that's facing down turn that way and just turn until you can feel that stretch there <clears throat> and then just hold it there until you feel like you've gotten a good stretch and then bring it back and now you can do the opposite where you put your palm up and your palm down and then cross your hands and then turn the other way and then you'll feel the opposite side getting stretched good workout and if you feel like you need to get a couple more stretches in, you can come back and then go back and do the other side. And this will be, give yourself a good stretch and be able to help you get through those hips when you're, when you're on the course. All right, got another stretch that's going to help, you know, work those arms again. You know, you're using your hips and your, your upper body a lot in your, in your rotation here. And when you're, when you're swinging back, you know, you got to make sure you're all stretched out here so you're, you, you can swing through the ball easily. If you're really tight, it's going to be hard to, to you know, stay warmed up and, and get that feel when you're on the course. 
So on this one, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your club uh, with, with one hand up here over your back, and then on the back side, you're gonna grab the club lower on like this. And then from there, you're gonna lift up with this hand that's on the top, pull up. So what you're doing is you're pulling up while you're still gripping that back hand, your lower hand, and you should be able to feel a stretch <clears throat> in your upper arm, bicep area, and this will really get that upper arm loosened up. So you're just pulling up on this one, and then you're feeling the stretch right here. And then once you got a good stretch doing that, pulling up, and just make sure you're holding on back here with this hand, and pulling up and feeling that stretch in your bicep, in your upper arm. Once you got that, you can do the other one. And then uh, once again, pull up and feel that stretch on this side of your, this is my right arm now feeling that bicep stretch, getting that upper arm stretch. Once you feel like that's gotten a good stretch, you don't wanna do it too long. You just wanna get nice and loosened up. See here I'm at neutral and then I can pull up and I'm getting that good stretch. And that really would help your arms to really loose after that one. Um, you know, be able to help you on your backswing and your through, getting through your swing. I find that being stiff really does hurt the swing. If I'm stiff, it's just hard to keep, you know, that, that good rhythm and a good feel. And so that, that one right there will also help your upper arms too. Okay, so this next one is gonna really, it's gonna stretch out your back, <clears throat> your lower back, and it's also gonna, you're gonna start feeling a stretch in your legs. <clears throat> and what you're gonna do is you're gonna put that club behind you like this with your palms facing backwards <clears throat> and spread your feet out. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna bend forward like you're stretching, like you're gonna touch your toes, but as you're doing that, you're gonna pull your arms up high like this. So you're gonna feel the stretch in the back of your legs here and also in, that, in, in your back and try and keep your back straight. Don't hunch over, keep that back straight and also feel that stretch in your back and also back here in your legs. <clears throat> and then once you spread those feet and your, and your hands apart, and once you're feeling that stretch up there, lean to one side so you can feel that stretch also on the side over here. And then you'll, more feel, you'll also feel it more on, on the side you're leaning towards. And then once you have that good stretch, then come back to your center there and then go to the other side. And then you'll really feel that stretch on that on your other side that you're leaning on. And so there you're getting a good stretch on, on your on your legs and on your back. And also you're stretching, you know, in here in this area when you're pulling up here. And that gets you a, a, a nice stretch of getting that your lower back and your legs loosened up also. And so once you feel like you've gotten a good stretch from that, and then you can come back up and it really feels like you're getting a really good stretch workout here. Okay, I'm gonna show you one more stretch. And this stretch, you don't really need a club, <clears throat> but this stretch is, is gonna also work out, you know, your hip rotation and also your leg again. So what you're gonna do is just stand with your feet spread apart and then put your hands on your hips. <clears throat> now you can either start with your left or right foot. I'm gonna start with my left. Turn that foot inward so you can start feeling the stretch on, on this side when you turn your foot inward. But keep your feet spread apart now what you're gonna do is just turn to this side like this so you can feel the inside right here just really stretching. And so that'll give you your leg and your hip a good stretch. And you just come over here and feel that stretch for a few seconds. And then you can come back to neutral. And then you can go back again and start feeling that stretch. And this is really feeling, uh, you wanna turn so you can really feel that stretch on your, on your leg. And then after you got that one, go back and do the other side turn that foot inward, and then the side you turn your foot inward, uh, rotate to that side like that. And then this will, you've, by now you've gotten a really good stretch for your round. You should have uh, gotten your stretch for your upper body, and your lower body. And uh, this will prepare you to be loosened up for the driving range where you'll get even more loosened up from swinging. And then also when you go out to the course, you should feel really stretched. All right, so uh, th that's all the stretches I have today. There are a few more stretches if, if you want to get a cup more in. Um, you have to have a, a golf cart, but pretty much the, the ones I showed you will get you loosened up for your round. Uh, so try those stretches when you get to the course and get loosened up. 
Uh, and then and then after that, part two will go to the driving range. But like I said, I've recorded part two already a couple days ago, but it was in the middle of a storm, so I got rained out and couldn't do this part or the next part I'm going to do. Hopefully it doesn't rain on me today. But uh, uh, thanks for watching this episode. Stay tuned for part two and part three. I am going to Japan to see my brother uh, next week. I think I'll get a video out then in Japan. I don't think I'm going to be able to play unless anyone has a hookup. I'm going to be in Osaka. Anyone got a hookup in Japan? I think it's pretty pricey to play there, but uh, um, I'll probably, my brother says that there's a couple driving ranges and, and some golf stores. It's kind of a big thing, I guess. We'll go to a golf store. Maybe I'll show you guys some of the Japanese golf stores there. Uh, maybe I'll pick up something I can do a giveaway from Japan. Um, I don't know if you guys would like that. Maybe a some kind of Japanese golf balls or something but if that interests you guys leave a comment below maybe you guys would be interested in, in some kind of golf something that I can give away that's from Japan but I'll show you guys kind of what that's like and, and see if we can get to a driving range while we're out in Japan but I'm not going to do really any playing I don't think I'm really just going out there to see my brother and his wife kind of get away but uh, um, I'll, I'll still have some videos I'll post through then but anyways thanks for watching uh, stay Stay tuned for part two where we'll get to the driving range.